um, today I will be showing off uh, my current uh, good coin collection and I'd like to start it off with um, two shellings um, I don't know too much about this I just found it today actually my collection um, here, try to get a date off of it for you guys um, I don't, uh, come on, nope, come on, it's 1958, you can kind of see that, there we go, that's a little bit better focused, so that's 1958, um, which is quite nice, um, I know it can go up to ten, up to ten bucks, as far as selling was, um, right here, some of my Japanese coins, I also have a Canadian right there, uh, Mexican, Japanese, I think that's Canadian, actually no, Oops, that is, that is Mexican. That one is Canadian. That one is actually 1941. I can't get the dates off of the uh, Canadian, I mean, the Japanese ones. Um, up here, we have a silver Canadian. It is. See the day. It is kind of hard to focus on, but it is 1958. A really nice quality. Here's some wheats. That one right there is actually a metal detecting fine. That's not like a weed or anything, it's just like a cap. You can see. So I have a half dollar. Oh yeah, and here's my, some of my rock collection. You'll see some metal, uh, rock hunting videos. Um, a little bit of those, but if we go right over here, sorry, I tore my, um, hip a little bit. Um, right here we got a weedy, um, it is can't really read it right now. I'm just trying to do a quick video for you guys. Um, we had another weedy. And, uh, sorry guys. Um, down here we got, I know this one's old. It'll focus. Come on. It's 1966. I have an older one around somewhere. We have two more Wheaties and 1943. It's focusing in pretty good well, actually. Okay, and um, up here we have some more rock collection. I'll go more in depth into this. I polish a lot of them. As you can see that one right there. Um, we have an Australian one penny. Um, I can just get it into the light real quick. It is a. Here, one second, let me just get the date. It's actually 1911. It's one of my older coins. Um,. And up next is probably my prized possession, and I still need to clean it off as the thing and stuff. This right here is an 1892. Um, it's from Spain, and I'm just really happy about this coin. Uh, it's not, like, worth too much because of its quality, but basically I'm going to try to clean it off just a little bit. 
Because while I do know that um, coins aren't, like, when you're collecting them, you aren't supposed to clean them because they have a value uh, for their quality, too. But um, this is just a collecting coin, and I really want to be able to read the date and stuff without a magnifying glass. Um, I don't feel like taking it out right now because I don't want to touch it or anything. Um, so, yeah. Um, up next is something kind of random, but, um, got a snake skin. And, um, this was actually, I skinned it, I skinned the snake, and, um, that was a fun experience. Um, so yeah. Up next we have a buffalo nickel. They completely worn off. I'll per I might be able to get it off eventually, but I mean like that's completely worn off as you can see. So um yeah, I plan to keep you guys updated with some more videos. Um I might have a metal detecting video in the next week, um but you never know. So yeah. Um along with that I have and I know these aren't the best environments for these coins, but we have uh, the I collect these quite a bit whenever I can find them. Get a nineteen eighty got a 1999 these are just quite nice in my opinion they're just like nice and collectible um this is just a weird quarter that i found i don't know what the heck happened to it somebody was having fun with a knife or something 1994 only but quite interesting and i'm gonna say maybe my favorite Probably my favorite Japanese coin. I don't know much about it. It might be old or something. I don't know. I just like it. Okay, and then up next, we have. Uh, not really anything else. Um. Anyways. Um. This is Digging Michigan. And, um. See you guys in the next video, I guess. Um, yeah, see you guys.